telling me to slow down. It is a huge, massive global energy day on 1212. And 1212 is always a really interesting day because it is always about us individually and about us as the collective. So to put that in a way that makes sense is it is about our personal life journey, our personal purpose, our life, our life journey, all of that. And then it is also about those people that we interact with, right? So our larger community. So that means our family and our friends that are closest to us, our children, our moms, our dads, uh, fam, you know, our friends and all of the people that are around us. And then it extends out like a pebble on a pond. When you throw a rock into the pebble, it hits once. And when it hits once, that's the metaphor for you. And then each ripple that goes outward is your interaction and your reach and your impact on the others around you and their impact on you as well, okay? So the thing about today is today is actually the day that directly corresponds with 1-1. It is actually the completion of the cycle, even though I know we go by years, which is from 1-1 to 1231, it is really the energetic completion from 1-1 to 1212, okay? And then what happens is the gateway opens, an energetic gateway opens from 1212 to 1221, which is the winter solstice. So this is a, when you get from 1212 to 1221, you really start getting into completion energy and then also the look ahead energy to the next year. So the important thing about today is those goals, those dreams, those intentions, um, those things that you planned, you know, if you made any New Year's uh, resolutions, which I hope you don't. I hope everybody is just decided New Year's resolutions are for the birds because, you know, we start them, I'm going to lose weight, and then 12 days later, we forget about them. So they're not really helpful. But, you know, but our goals and things that we wanted to focus on, our vision board, it's really a great time to be thinking about your vision board. Not necessarily to do your vision board today, but to be thinking about your vision board. So think about today, today, think about what your, where, go back in your timeline, go back in your brain to one, one, okay, the first of this year, and think about where you were on the first of this year, think about what you wanted to manifest this year, what were your goals, what were your dreams, what your desires, and go through and look at that. If you did the vision board class with me, go look at the vision board. If you didn't do the vision board, but maybe you journaled it or you looked at it, take some time to get today and go back and look at your journals. And then look, stop and really look at everything that you accomplished this year, okay? Excuse me. And give yourself the wins. So, you know, don't look at the things you didn't accomplish because you know what? Some of those things, we might be a little bit overachievers. You know, we might be trying to do a bit too much sometimes. I am so guilty of that. I get so excited about new things and then I just want to do it all. So, you know, it's not the time today. It's not the day to go back on anything negative. This is a positive day. Okay. I want you to do reflection of the year and then the things that you didn't get to, what we're going to talk about that, whatever you didn't get to, don't worry about it for now. And then really focus on the wins, focus on the things you did do this year and what you did really, really well. And focus on the ways that you were in alignment with your four bodies, your spiritual body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your physical body. Where were you in alignment this year? Where were you allowing yourself to just radiate and shine your authenticity? And look at those places and just just like give yourself the proverbial pat on the back, you know, or Samantha, let your mom pat you on the back too. And just go ahead and really, really relish that time. Okay. So that's the first step for today on the 12, 12 day. And then take a little break, shake it all off, shake the energy off when you're in reflection mode, take a big deep breath and then go get a drink, you know, for me, go get a cold brew because I love my cold brew still, even though it's cold or a hot cup of tea, whatever you want to do. I'm probably going to do tea today. Um, get a hot cup of tea and then just shake it off for a little bit and then go do something else, right? Just go on with life, do anything you want to do, turn your attention back to work, whatever you have to do. And then after a little bit, you know, a couple of hours, whatever, maybe later this evening after dinner or whatever, come back for another little reflection time and then re-look at that list of what you started on 1-1, look at where you are today 
and then go ahead and put a little bit, this is a good time for future gazing, okay? So just kind of close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and it's a time to future gaze, okay? It's a time to think about 2023, where is your vision board? What are the things you wanna focus on on 2023? Look back, this is the time to go back and look over that list that you had of the things that you didn't get accomplished. And this is the time to ask yourself, is that important? Does it matter? Do I really need to keep doing that? Is my heart in this? And do I still want to create that? Okay. And if you can ask yourself those very clarifying questions, that is going to tell you what you need to or what you desire to bring from 2022 into 2023. Okay. And then go ahead and write those ones down. In 2023, I want to focus on, I want to concentrate on, I want to do these things and then go ahead and do that. So like I said, today is an amazing day for reflection in the early part and then future gazing in the in the la latter part of the day, okay? Um, so that is the cycle. So again, just so the cycle that you began on the first is ending cycle today. I know we think it's the 31st, but it's actually not. 12-12 is the power day of ending cycle, okay? Now, that doesn't mean ending it in the physical, not in our material world. It means ending it more in the mental plane, okay? More in our mental plane, our emotional, um, our emotional body if we need to. Not necessarily, I'm not telling you to halt and stop everything and wrap up the year today because it's a power day. I'm just telling you that today is the day to kind of wind it down and to be thinking about it that way. Okay. Um, let me see what else I want to say about 1212. Um, oh, so that is about you personally. Okay. So as I said, I wanted to talk to you about you personally um, and what you have going on. And then what I want to talk about that is um, collectively. Okay. Well, wait, before I go to collectively, let me do the personal. I wrote down today that um, this is a great day when you, uh, the, after you do the reflection and then you do the future gazing, it's a really good day to kind of organize your thoughts. So, you know, you don't, again, not to put anything in motion, but just start organizing your vision board start organizing your journal, just kind of start organizing what you are planning and wanting to move forward with in 2023. The energy of 1212 loves organization. That's a universal energy right now. Um, it loves organization. It loves culmination. Okay. So that's winding down. It's a high energy period culmination. And it today is a great day for celebration of the journey. So I wrote that down too. That's what they told me during my meditation today. Celebrate. You guys celebrate the wins. Please, I am begging you right now, do not today go into any of the negative, okay? Don't go into the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Don't go into any feeling bad about the things you weren't able to get accomplished, you know? Don't go into any of that because the power of today is the high vibrational energy. So there is time for those, and I will talk about that in a minute, but not today. Today, keep it positive. Keep your reflections of the year positive. Keep your future gazing positive. Focus on what you want, what you really truly want. And then we will give and allow time for us to process those negative emotions, to process those things that didn't come to culmination, just not today. Okay. So collectively, um, collectively, it is, um, it is a period out there. Again, it's a highly organizational day. If I were to pull a tarot card for today, it would be the emperor. And the emperor is the card of organization, logic, um, you know, action, masculine energy. That is what the chord, chord would be today. That is the energy of today collectively. So uh, you will see that for a lot of people, projects will complete either today or this week. Things will come to an end. It is a natural cycle for things to be coming to an end right now. And I know there's the deadline of the end of the year at work for a lot of people, but the deadline, the beginning of the wrap up is really today. That's our collective energy. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, and then just going back because of my notes, so I'm going back and forth. One of the things I want you to also do is when you do that future gazing and you come back on that time for that future gazing and you go to write it down, put your hand on your heart and really just take a little bit of quiet time 
take a breath, put your hand on your heart, and then just quietly ask yourself, your, ask your higher self this question, okay? This is the way to start listening to your intuition. And I promise you, we all have a higher self, we all have an inner knowing, and we all have an intuition. And I am here as an empathic intuitive to help guide you. And you can ask me questions and ask my team questions, and I will totally check in for you. And I also am here to tell you that you can do this for yourself, okay? You have the intuition. You can build up your inner intuition. You can build up your inner in, inner knowing. It's just like a, mus uh, a muscle. It's just like anything you do on any other time. So what you do is when you're doing your future gazing, you just put your hand on your heart, take a big deep breath, and then just ask yourself, higher self, what is it that we want to do in 2023? What is it we want to create? What is it that is making my heart happy? And just ask yourself those questions and then be willing to be quiet and hear what your unconscious mind, your higher self, your unconscious mind, your soul wants to tell you. And then here's the other thing I want to tell you about that. It always, when our higher self talks to us, when our inner self, our soul self talks to us, it is always a peaceful feeling. If it is confusion, if it is fear, if it's scary, if it's anxiety, that is not your higher self, you guys. That is our mental self. That's our, our personality, our ego, um, our small self, the one that just wants to keep us safe at all times, okay? Doesn't want us to move forward because the world isn't safe. That is not it. Our higher self is always the still, still small, quiet voice within us that leads us in the right direction. And here's the really interesting thing about our higher self. Sometimes it tells us things we don't necessarily want to hear because it involves action and change. And yet we get such a sense of peace because we know it's truth. It's like a truth bomb, okay? It's that thing that says, okay, here's an easy one. I've been eating way too many holiday cookies. It's time to stop. Check it, excuse me, check in with my soul self. Sorry, you guys, I'm my, uh, forgive me, my throat chakra is getting really, really activated and my heart chakra is getting activated because I'm gonna be getting ready to do the channeling and I'm gonna be getting ready to do the card pulls and I'm wrapping up the love and learn. So I'm having physical reactions. Okay, so uh, I'm eating too many cookies. My soul self, I check in, hey, soul self, what do I need to be doing? Most likely my soul self's gonna say, grab an apple. <laughs> And, and you know what? I want to eat the cookie. I want to eat the cookie, but I know I need to eat the apple. And so, you know, my higher self is pushing me towards my highest and best life. And it's telling me what I need to do. It's this one that pushes me in the direction and gets me confused and does things that are not necessarily in my highest good and my best alignment. Okay. 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 Um, just two more things. And then I'm going to get to the card pulls. Okay. Okay. Um, two more things I wrote down that I really want to tell you. One is that cosmic, because I'm talking about the cosmic forces right now. So the planetary forces, astrology, those kind of cosmic forces. Um, what I want you to know is that Neptune has been in retrograde for the last five months. And um, Neptune is always about relationships. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in January of this year, I talked about how this year was going to be a highly emotional year. It's a six. So it's a divine feminine year. It's going to be a highly emotional year. And this year's theme of this year was relationships relationships, relationships, relationships. And I just, you know, I'm just going to say that again. So it is our, our um, partnerships, our intimate partnerships, focus on that, our friendships, our closest friends, our family, and our relationships. And it has been a highly charged, highly emotional year. People have gone in our life that needed to go and people in our past who we have unresolved issues with um, clean up cleanup that needs to happen, forgiveness that needs to happen, words that need to be spoken, or even just energetic reconnection that needs to be ha needs to happen has happened in this year. And it happened a lot during those five months that Neptune was in relationship. That was the time that Neptune was really bringing in the cleanup for that. Okay. Um, I was having to do some cleanup of some relationships for sure. And um, particularly on ones that I let go and I still had negative emotions of shame and guilt over. And I had to really, really work on my shadow work of being sure to let those relationships go 
do forgiveness and send these people just nothing but love and light and the best for their future selves, even though I'm not going for, forward with them, right? Um, also, some people from high school, really interesting, came back into my life during these five months. People I wasn't really very close with, but they've been seeing my social media and they just wanted to come back and say, hey, I'm seeing what you're doing on Facebook and I really love it. And I had no idea that in your life you would be an artist and an intuitive and an energy person. You know, I didn't think that was what was in store for you. So that's the thing, but that is done. So I want you to know Neptune has gone uh, direct again. So when it's gone direct, that should be fine. So we are also at the end of this year where relationships are easing up, if that makes sense. Okay. There's still maybe some conflict. There's still maybe some cleanup, but in general, you should be through that for sure. Okay. And then the only other thing I want to tell you is that Mars is getting ready to go retrograde. And Mars, if you guys know anything about it, Mars is the divine masculine planet and it is the planet of war. <laughs> so, you know, it is a fiery, fiery planet. And so one of the things that's happening is as it is getting ready to go um, direct again, that will be happening. This is going to be going all the way into January. It, this is a lesson. The Mars, the Mars lesson is for us to learn how to positively channel our masculine energy. That's positively channel our action, our anger, our, um, you know, our, our, uh, um, um, uh, what is it? Our involvement. You know what I mean? When we want to get um, involved in a cause, you know, how to channel that and positively channel our anger, how to positively channel our frustration, how to positively channel, you know, um, activism. That's what it is. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word activism. They just told me they're like activism. <laughs> so that's what it is. And unfortunately, there are people out there that don't believe in this stuff. And they don't believe in astrology. They don't believe in, um, you know, the the uh, the healing arts. They don't believe in that kind of stuff. And they are really feeling the effects of these cosmic forces. And unfortunately, they don't have any um, language for it. They don't have any ability to know what's going on. They just know they feel bad. They feel angry. They feel mean. They feel out of sorts. They don't know what to do with it. They're trying to go through distraction. And they are blaming others for their problems and they want others to fix their problems instead of accepting personal responsibility for them. And I just want you as healers, empaths, sensitives, light workers, I just want to put this out there that when you are confronting people who are having these challenges, it is not your job to fix it. Okay. I'm hoping you hear that. It is not your job to fix people. It is not your job to make it better for them. It's not your job to, you know, say kind and compassionate words if they're not going to listen to them. Okay. I know that is a hard, hard truth for us who are sensitives. We want to be, we are natural helpers and we want to make the world a better place. But it's really a time that when you are confronted with that Mars energy of people who are not accepting responsibility for their lives and their actions, it's time for you to just step back and be peace out, you know, and you can plant the seeds. I'm not saying that you don't love them. I'm not saying that you don't send them love, but it's peace out, baby, because it is not your responsibility. And you do not want to get wrapped up in that energy. If you get wrapped up into that energy as an empath and it'll be a ball of wax for you and you will get into this next cycle and you will end up in a place that you don't want to be. Trust me, you don't want to be in that icky, sticky gooey place. The best position to be in right now, being confronted with those people is one step back, looking at them with compassion and not trying to solve their problems. Okay. Okay. That was the last thing I needed to say. Okay. I think that's good. I'm going to go back and look at some of the comments and then, um, uh, um, and then Hitomi, you can go ahead and line up people for today if you want. So, okay. Again, let's see what's going on. Does anybody, just real quick before I move on, does anybody have any questions on this? Did you guys get this? Is there anything more that you need to know? If you do, just drop it in the comment section and I will definitely um, I will definitely respond to it, okay? Okay, you guys are quiet today, but I was really, really sharing, so that's fine. Okay, so Hitomi is going to start loading up um, the comments, uh, you know, comments all about. So Chris says, 
That is what astrology is all about. Woohoo, great explanation. Good. That's awesome. So Chris, I want you to know that um, I, I actually get help with my astrology. This is not my most big area of expertise. It is definitely an area that I love. I'm really interested in it. And I have a couple of good friends that are like wizards at it. So um, I follow them and then they help me. And then luckily I can talk bit about what I'm feeling and my intuition. And then I bounce it off of them and they're like, yeah, well, here's what's happening planetarily and here's stuff. So they really helped me understand what I was going through on a logical level in order to also help you guys astrologically. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Laura says, my horoscope today says, take a step back from your day-to-day -day life and write up a new plan for the short term and the long term if you have time appropriate for this magic mondays absolutely absolutely that's exactly it okay <sighs> okay awesome you guys and it is time to move on